Look at them go! Devon Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact! Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Don't give up. You're still in this race. Him. You can still beat him. Devin is in the pits. Devin in the pits. Ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. Next time the team give you an instruction, follow it. It is not a request. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, am I, am I interrupting? I can leave, or uh, actually no, continue. Please. Can we help you with something? Oh, it was just uh, you were the better driver. Yeah, from my car it seemed like you deserved the win. Okay, congratulations. But the team gave you an order. You could have jeopardized it for both of us. You know, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you really don't have what it takes to be a champion. Lucas uh, likes to talk a good game about the whole uh, team thing. But the fact is, if you're in the same situation, do you really think he'd let you pass? I would. See the hesitation? Anyway, it doesn't matter who wins. Next season, I'll be spending my Sunday afternoons atop the F1 podium, while you two will be teaching kids to drive go-karts. Good luck, yeah? <sighs> Look, I understand why you did it. Do you really think an F1 team would allow you to just drive however you want? Come on, 